Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again, welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel. I'll be taking you through the next 30 minutes. We have a ton of Tar Heel topics to discuss. That is even with Carolina football having its second open date of the season. Remember the Tar Heels had that week zero game against Florida A&M. That feels like a long time ago, but because they played that week, they have two open dates of the year. So this the second that did not mean that Mac Brown wasn't going to talk about his team, though. He met with the media earlier this week. You're going to hear some from Coach Brown talking about the six and one Tar Heels with five games remaining in the regular season. So you'll hear from Coach Brown. We're going to look back at some of the big plays over the last couple of weeks. Carolina's had some dramatic games, some explosive plays. We'll take a look at some of those for you here in the next little bit. Plus, Adam Lucas and I had a chance to talk with a Carolina Olympic sport athlete. This week it is Tim Shells, native of Germany, one of the captains on the men's soccer team. You'll hear some of that conversation. Plus, it is still a busy weekend, even without football playing, a busy weekend around Carolina athletics. We'll show you some highlights of some key victories, including a big women's soccer win in Tallahassee against Florida State. So all of that coming up, but let's start off with Coach Brown. Met with the media earlier this week to talk some about his Tar Heels. I said last year we weren't as good as the hype, and I saw it, and I watched it every day, and nobody wanted to hear it. They just thought it was coach speak. And it was really true. Um, and this team has got a lot of things we've got to fix. But the, the difference for them, other than last year's team, is they're winning on the road. We were in six on the road last year. And we, we've already won um, four road games. Um, the difference in them is they're learning how to win close games. And with the parity out there right now in college football, the teams that win close games are the ones that end up being the best teams because it's going to happen every week and, and uh, more than I've ever seen in, in my career. Um, and this team seems to be doing that. Uh, I, I told them this morning at our 630 meeting that um, um, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the way you fight. I'm proud of the way that you continue to, to not give up. And they've had tremendous effort each week. But you've got to respond better. You've got to respond when you get the ball inside the, the 20 yard line and your own offense. You got to respond after a fourth and two. You 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 don't put people away. And and we've got to do a better job of that. Every since we've been here on defense, we've given up too many explosive plays. And it's week after week after week. And we got to quit doing that to be a to be a great team. Um, so I told them we're a good team. We've got five hard games left. I told them that the I don't even look at the polls until the college football poll comes out the 1st of November. It means absolutely nothing. May not mean a lot then. I said, don't look at where your standings are in the coastal because you got five hard games left and you got to win them all. So uh, don't, don't start checking those boxes. Just play. Keep your head down. Figure out why we're giving up too many explosives on, on defense. Figure out why we're turning the ball over, why we're having some sacks uh, on offense, and and let's make a difference in special teams, uh, and let's step up and and make this season special. Let's don't make it good, let's make it special, and we've got a chance to do that. But but we can't keep living on the edge. We we've got to improve quickly in some areas. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready.
I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be true blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Thanks again for being with us on the show today. And say what you will about the Tar Heels. There have been some fun moments, some tight games, some big plays, and we thought it might be fun to revisit some of those now. Let's take a look back at some of the exciting moments through the first half of Carolina's season. Hood is the running back. May is going to throw, looking to his left, to the end zone, down. Yes. Welcome back, baby. Touchdown, Carolina. Back left corner of the end zone. And that, that was just two-man football yeah. there. So now it's first and 15. Tar Heels needing something. May will Got try him. to get it down the far sideline. Antoine Green makes the catch in stride. Green at the 20, steps through a tackle. Touchdown, Carolina. And if they have any chance of getting back into it, that's exactly what they need. <laughs> they need some quick hitters, what you call one-hitter quitters. <laughs> Tar Heels need to get to the Corner Notre Dame Blitz. 43. They're going to go deep. Antoine Green is there. He's going to bring it in for the touchdown. So on fourth and 21, <laughs> Carolina goes deep, and they hit Green for the second time today. May stays in the shotgun with Hood to his right. Fakes the handoff to him. May is going to walk in for the touchdown. Gave it a little hop at the end. It counts for six just the same. Well, great opportunity for Carolina to do what we talked about some of the pregame and just live through a bad play. Intercepted. Picked off by Seth Gray at the 35. Gray at the 20. He's going to be down to the 15 on the return. Well, there you go. Something good didn't happen. <laughs> Make something good happen. Gray with the interception. So it'll be second and nine. Remember, that was first and 20 after the holding call. May quickly over the middle. Caught there. Stepping through a tackle and stepping to the end zone. Bryson Nesbitt for six more. It is pouring points in Chapel Hill. <laughs> Third and three off the 29, or excuse me, off the 26. May to throw and wide open down the sidelines and on the way is J.J. Jones. He's going to take it all the way. I almost couldn't believe it. There was no hurricane in the zip code and Jones Hits pay dirt, 74 yards for the touchdown. Second and 10 from the Miami 15. May to throw again, pressure again. May just throws it up. Oh, caught by Downs at the five. Downs leaps for the end zone, <laughs> and he got a touchdown. The Tar Heels roll the dice and come up big for six. This is a fourth and short for the Canes. They're going to hand off to Knighton, and he fumbled the football. Carolina, I think, has possession. They do. Carolina gets its first turnover of the game at a huge time. 
Biggers recovers the fumble. Over the 50 to the Carolina 47, down to 15 seconds for Van Dyke. Throws and overshoots and intercepted. Picked off. That's the ball game. Boykins with the interception. Carolina's going to win. They need to get to the three. May Morales is going to throw. Boy, wide open. Morales, touchdown. Brian saw it from up here. How could you miss it? There wasn't a Duke player in the neighborhood. Third and two from the Duke four. Tarles do have a timeout, so they can run it in theory. But May is going to throw. Rolls out of the pocket to the right. Trying to extend the play. Goes to the front corner of the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. Caleb Hood out of the backfield with a terrific grab to hit Pater. Heels keep it on the ground. Green right up the gut. Green breaks tackles and hits Pater. Well, hey there, buddy. Elijah Green. Tar Heels down four, 35-31. May has the shotgun snap. Pressure coming. Rolls to the right. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Antoine Green. 16 seconds to go. No flags. Leonard in the shotgun. Will drop back to throw. Ball is tipped and intercepted. Carolina's going to win it. Picked up by Will Hardy. The freshman seals it for the victory bell. The victory bell is staying in Chapel Hill for the fourth consecutive season. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be true blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Thanks so much for being with us here on the Carolina Insider. Hope you're enjoying the show. We appreciate you joining us today. Every week, Adam Lucas and I have a chance to interview somebody around Carolina athletics, and a lot of times it is a current student athlete. That includes this week. Tim Schells, a native of Germany, was playing professionally in Germany, elected to come over to the United States, and is now a member of Carolina's men's soccer team, one of the captains, in fact, this year. Adam and I had a chance to catch up with Tim earlier in the week. All right, as you can tell, 
Tim is from Burlington, North Carolina. No, <laughs> from uh, an originally German native, correct? Yeah. Me okay. Is. How'd you get all the way over here to Chapel Hill? Um, it was, I was playing back home. Um, I was playing fourth division and started to study next to it. And mm. so I was like looking around, like what can I do to have the best experience of like um, playing at a good level, also studying. And so I ended up uh, having a few friends who like uh, came to the US and they all enjoyed their experience. So I was like, hey, might as well give it a shot and try to combine athletics and academics at the highest possible level. So that's how I ended up here in North Carolina. What did you know about either North Carolina as a place or Carolina as a school before you actually got here? Honestly, pretty much nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Yeah. And um, yeah, um, that was pretty much it. Like, obviously, you know a little bit um, about like the, the cities or like the state in general, but nothing big. So it was all pretty new for me when I came here. So, yeah. I'm going to guess if you were already playing a professional level, you've been playing for a while. When did you start playing? So I think I started playing when I was like three, four years old. <laughs> um, and I think it's, it's kind of normal in Europe that you start yeah. that early because it's just like the main sport. So like every kid has a little ball and like everything you do is just kicking it. And then <laughs> when you're three, four years old, you have your friends around and then you just end up going to, to the club and have practice a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days a week. And um, yeah, then very early you end up like enjoying it and just keep playing it until yeah, you're still here. <laughs> All right, one of the captains of the team, what, what is that? role mean to you? How do you try to embrace that? Um, I think it comes with a lot of responsibility, um, but I always want to see that responsibility not as like pressure, but as like a challenge. Um, it's like the whole being away from home for me is like a challenge, but that's like another big part of it, like to just try to, even though you're foreign, like you, it's not your main language, just try to lead like the boys around you and like um, the advantage for me is that I'm like older than like most of the college uh, sure. guys here, so I have like that little bit um, more maturity, I'd say, maybe than a few guys coming in at 17, 18 years old, and so I just try to give um, them the a little bit more experience I have, and just yeah, try to lead as much as I can on the field, and um, yeah, just try to be a role model, especially for for the freshmen. I was gonna ask you, I mean. Far away from home, you said like didn't know a ton about the place when you came. What what challenges has that brought for you? Was it ever lonely? Was it ever difficult? How'd you kind of navigate through it? Um, yeah, so for me coming in 2020 when COVID was at its peak, it huh. was not gonna lie, very hard at the beginning because right when I got here, every student on campus got sent home. So Oof. I was sitting in my dorm. Um, not really doing anything. I was going to practice once a day, had my Zoom classes, but other than that, I, yeah, I, I, I was lonely in my room. We were not allowed to meet anyone because of COVID. And um, so the, the start was, was a big, big challenge. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, there were thoughts where I'm like, why am I doing that? Like, I could just go back home to my family and just wait until the whole pandemic is over and then might give it another shot. But it was actually Carlos who like convinced me to like take this as like a challenge and that it's not easy all the time and like it wasn't easy for like the whole world at that point. So yeah. um, it was, I had a very good conversation with him and he like convinced me to like, yeah, just stay and fight through it. And um, I'm, I'm very happy that I did it. And um, like looking back now, like now I'm, I'm as happy as I can be. Like um, I'm talking to my family couple days a week, so we're still always in touch, obviously. And so, um, yeah, I, it made it very easy for me to have all my teammates around me who are like my family now. So, yeah, I'm enjoying my stay here. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. I need to try it first. Yeah. 
Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be true blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Rounding the final corner here on the Carolina Insider. Always like to close things up with some highlights from other sports. And those fall sports right at the end of their regular seasons. There's a couple winter sports that will be starting in the next few weeks as well. So a ton of highlights to show you, including a huge women's soccer win at Florida State. Those were two top five teams. Tar Heels getting a 2-1 victory on Thursday night. Let's see some highlights from that win and more. Center now with some time on the break for North Carolina in the box for the Tar Heels. Left footed shot is blocked. And I believe he's calling a penalty. A handball maybe. Hanson's penalty kick against Wake Forest was the game winner and a 1-0 win for the Tar Heels. Their last match, Hanson from the spot now to tie and does. Three for three on the season from the penalty spot for Tori Hansen. And all of a sudden, not much offense, but just enough to earn a penalty and tie the game for North Carolina. Except for three of their backs. Echigini in the box. One touch, it is saved. Allen with a big time save. I like the quick touch, though, of Echigini. Well, it's another fabulous buildup from Nyswanger. If anybody can catch up to the ball, it is number five in blue. Darlene does catch it and then gets right around Gilchrist into the box, lays it in, takes it herself, and it's up and over for a corner. Have to find ways, though, to, to punish the opposition. Chance for North Carolina, brought down nicely by Ali Sentner. Has it on her left, takes her shot, what a goal! Sentner and North Carolina take the lead. Rifles this one into the back of the net. Two defenders on her. Moxley trying to track inside. But they need to continue to exploit North Carolina. Meza up high off the crossbar. It's coming though. Postseason. Overlap for Payne. One touch cross. Held it down by Olsen. Saved at the near post. Well, Florida State scored first, but it's the Tar Heels game tonight. North Carolina coming on the road, knocking off Florida State 2-1. Out of New Jersey, plays it in, top of the circle, shot kicked aside by the Tar Heel keeper. Still in the circle, second shot goes wide. Long pass up through midfield, finds its mark. Here comes the first chance for the Tar Heels. That one will just skip wide off the stick of the freshman, Riley Heck. Shoulder into the attacking third. Here's the freshman, Ashley Sessa. Nice stick work from her shot. Gonna be saved by the freshman, Trimborn. But a penalty corner coming here for Carolina. 
Yeah, obstruction call on Virginia, but brilliant stick work by Ashley Sessa. Here's Sessa on the insert. Straight away shot, Carolina finds the back of the cage. That was Bruning with the goal. Probably fun content there on Adele Iacopucci's phone. Nice touch from Matson. Tries to get that pass down low, and it is going to be a penalty stroke for North Carolina. 17 goals on the year, make it 18, and a 2 0 Tar Heel lead. Stay with the Tar Heels. Here's Matson around the keeper. Matson with her second goal of the game. Top of the circle, Dickinson. Play it near side. Cano with a shot, pushed aside by Taylor. Rebound to Jansen, and it will stay with Virginia. They're going to get themselves another penalty corner. That's into Hex. Sessa with the shot. Near side shot almost deflected in. There were a couple of Tar Heels down there. Carolina clinches a regular season ACC championship. They will be the number one seed from the ACC tournament. That'll do it for us today, but really looking forward to being back with you next week. Why? Not only a huge football game, Carolina and Pittsburgh, basketball getting started as well. The number one ranked Tar Heels have their exhibition matchup with Johnson C. Smith. That's coming Friday in the Smith Center. Then Carolina Pitt late night, 8 o'clock Saturday night in Keenan Stadium. That is a big one in the Coastal Division. We'll have highlights of those events and more next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.